Hello, my name is Nicole Cole. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanted to do some chalk painting with you all. I thought we would start off with small items. So this is some lamps for my bedroom. I recently redid our bedroom uh, since we had Christmas and the red and white buffalo plaid was at my absolute favorite. And I left that on and I'm painting these lamps. So my lamps are a layering effect. This is the first coat. Um, now I'm working on my second coat of white. Um, I wanted to do these white and then I'm going to do a spray paint chalk over them in a navy blue. But this is just to get my bottom covered up. I wanted to show y'all how I store my paintbrushes in between painting. Uh, this way I don't have to wash my brush and restart. So um, that's how I do that. I did add a little bit of blue to give it some depth once I do, once I do my distressing. So I just kind of went over it with the blue here and there. So my lamps were originally black. I've painted them white and I'm kind of adding. So you're layering, okay guys? You're layering it so when you do distress, you have that depth and that look of distressing on there. You'll see what I'm talking about once we get to the end. So just keep kind of placing the blue here and there. I did that and now I'm getting my lamp ready to spray paint. So I was just gonna cover my cord, get everything ready, cause I surely don't wanna get blue spray paint all over my cord. Be sure to cover as much of the cord as possible. Otherwise you will get spray paint on it. That's after I spray painted it. I did use a 150 sand paper on there and I just scuffed it up pretty heavy. Um, I just wanted to slowly let y'all watch how I did this and I'm going on the edges. You can see how I'm edging each portion of that lamp. So when I, when I sanded it down and you'll see it in the end result, you can see the black you can see the white, so it just gives it that depth of, um, of the lamp that you want. This piece turned out absolutely beautiful. I'm super tickled with it. I am working on making some tassels to go on it. I had some old tassels that I'm going to eventually add to this in the blue willow. So um, I'm not liking the way they look now. So we'll do that in another video together. I just wanted to kind of give y'all an idea of chalk painting on these lamps. This turned out super, super cute. I can't wait for y'all to see the end project. As you can see, the sanding took a little time. Then I started taking all my tape off to uncover everything. So I decided to add some ribbon onto my um, lampshade. Y'all, lampshades are super crazy expensive. So this ribbon was not much at all. I used a red and off-white buffalo plaid and then I added the blue with the little stars. So cute. Look how it looks with my bedding. I love it. Give y'all a close-up picture. Cute project. Turned out really pretty. All right, so let's do that frame, those frames that we were talking about in our guest bedroom. They're kind of a funky gold bronzy color and, and they're pretty, don't get me wrong, but I just really wanted something a little more softer. At first I started to tape off my glass and then I decided, foot, I can take this thing all apart. So that's what I did to just make it easier for me. There's that bronzy gold color. So I used my kilt chalk paint again. I got that at Walmart and I just lightly covered over it. Now look guys, you don't have to be perfect on painting chalk paint. It, that's, that's the whole part of chalk paint. You don't want it to be 
perfect. The more brush strokes you show, the more uh, the more authentic or the the better the aging process will look even better. So I wanted that's why I wanted us to do some small projects together so y'all could see that it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm lightly going over this and you can see there's a lot of divots or uh, dimension to this frame. Yeah, I got a little bit on the counter. My husband will never know. Um, so there's a lot of dimension to this frame. So I had to really kind of dab in the, some of the areas to get the paint to go in. And, uh, but it still, it turned out really pretty. Just be sure to get the inside of your frame and the outside, um, cause I almost forgot that myself. Store my paintbrush again. So I got my, my frame painted and then I'm going to go back in with my wax and I use just a cheap brush y'all don't use an expensive brush for wax because it's hard to get it all out of your brush so you'll see here I'm kind of stifling you can see where I kind of dab it in areas because I wanted that gray look a little bit thicker in certain there you go in certain areas so um and I just kind of rub it in so I keep doing that uh all the way around the frame <laughs> These frames turned out really cute as well. I love the look of them. The gold just wasn't me. So um, I think they turned out really good. Now I did do a coat of poly over this to keep everything in place. So um, it looks a little dark there, but wait till y'all see the end product. Here we go. This is our guest bedroom. So I think they turned out really good. I hope y'all enjoyed today. I know I did. I worked really hard to, for y'all to see some things. So y'all have a great night and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank y'all.